Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I've got a small in stature but mighty in storyline haul for you guys. So, I'm going to get into it. The first few things, they're cool, they're nice, the last thing is, is a thing, so yes. So first of all, I found A Little Life by Hannah Yanagara, that's probably wrong, for 50p in a charity shop and what I know about this is... I'm gonna cry and it's harrowing and that's literally it. Well, that's all I need to know. Even though it's like 700 pages long, you know I like depressing, cry-worthy books, so hopefully it's good. I've heard so many people talk about this book. Normally it's got a big old crying face on there if you don't recognize this. Me saying that, you'll probably recognize what this book is. And yeah, can't tell you any of the synopsis because literally that's what I know. It's a group of friends and then it's harrowing. That's it. Next up, the absolutely wonderful and amazing cat over at Brism Reviews sent me Fence Volume 3 just randomly because she's awesome and lovely and kind. And honestly, out of all the YouTubers, I know I'm friends with a lot of YouTubers, but I genuinely think if we were at the same school or something, me and Cat would have been friends because we like the same music and we enjoy the same stuff. And it's just really cool. So yeah, that's no relevance to anything, but Fence Volume 3. Definitely want to reread the first one and get the next two read. This is like a slice of life comic about fencing. Kind of self-explanatory really. But here's the artwork. I'm just going to go to one of the uh, starting pages so hopefully I'm not getting any spoilers. There we go. So last but not least, and yes, I did say it was a small haul. This is the last thing. There's three things on here. So last month in February, on Facebook, Darren Chan, he exists. So he posts stuff like every day, every other day, just about his books and stuff. And one of the posts was about the manga version of the saga of Darren Chan. So I posted something along the lines of, I've got all of them apart from volume eight, which is true. And I've read up to volume seven, but I can't go forward with it because I haven't got volume eight. And it's super expensive, even secondhand, it's really hard to find for some reason. I don't know why volume 8 is just like a mystery. Maybe they only made about four copies, who knows? So, he replied to me in some words such as, oh hey, I've got a spare one, it's Taiwanese, but do you want it? It's probably not good for you, you can't read it, but hey, do you want this extra version I've got? And I'm over here like, Darren, my literal childhood Shan, you're asking me if I want you, specifically, to send me a book that I might not be able to read, but from your personal collection, you're willing to send me a book for no reason other than the fact that I commented on one of your comments. Would that be good for me? Excuse me? I don't care if it's Taiwanese, if a third of the pages are missing and if it's water damage because you threw it in the bath. Yes, I will take it. That's what I thought. I actually just replied with this very charming, normal thing to say rather than being a mentalist. So, yeah, that happened in February, quite near the beginning, February the something teen. And, you know, I was keeping my eye out of the post. He said, give me your address via his website. And I didn't see anything, so I thought, oh, maybe he's kind of forgot. Maybe it's lost in the post. It's cool. It's just cool in general at the fact that he said he would send me something. I don't mind. And then I wake up one day this month and guess what arrived? This. Darren Shan spent his own money to send me one of his own personal collections of a book just because he's amazing. And I know a lot of you on here probably don't know who Darren Shan is because you're uncultured. So let me just put it this way. Um, you know how you're all obsessed with Harry Potter? Imagine if JK Rowling just randomly said, oh yeah, I'll send you one of my books that I've got for no reason. That's what this is. That is what this is. Just gonna throw it out there. Maybe you guys still don't understand. This is my original set of the Saga of Darren Chan. This series finished in 2004. This is my original set. Look how freaking perfect in condition it is because that's the kind of person I am. The Demon Artist series. This I read as the books were coming out between 2005 and 2009 and I really need to reread it because I read it one book every six months or whatever. But those are my original copies. Look how perfect condition they are because Darren Shan is my fave. 
And it doesn't stop there. I'm not going to bore you with all of them, but we've got the zombie series. We've got the saga of Lars and Krepsley. We've got Koi-san, great small book. What else have we got? Oh look, we've got this series. It's not even technically Darren Chan, even though it is because it's under Darren Chan here, but it was actually originally under Darren Dash because it's an adult series. Boom. What else have we got? The Thin Executioner, The Lady of the Shades. You know, this author, this many books that I own of, just was like, hey, let me just send you this book for no reason. So we also got a few little flyers in here for some of his adult books. We've got a business card. Also, side note, how cute is this Taiwan edition? It's, it's even got a dust jacket, even though it's not hardcover. So that's kind of cool. It's also really small. It's it's mini compared to my other one. Let me just grab one. I've shown you all the rest of them. So this is what the English manga versions look like. And this is the Taiwan version. Look, it's all little. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to read volume eight of the book and then look through this. So I remember the storyline. And oh yeah, almost forgot. It's signed and personalised and dated by the one and only Darren Shan. So, there we go. That's it. These were the things that I got in March. Not a lot, but also it's a lot. Let me know down below what you picked up in March. If you've read any of these books that I hold. If you liked A Little Life, because I literally don't know anything about it. Other than that, I'm going to cry. If you've read Darren Shan, then you get 20 points just 20 life points and if you haven't then do it we're all in lockdown you've got time i mean these are pretty much all under 200 pages so you've got no excuse if this is your first video by me and you enjoy it then please check out some of the others and if you continue to enjoy then please subscribe that'd be awesome anyway guys i'll see you in a few days with another video bye